Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the DWM.exe Windows 10 issues. The DWM executable is a desktop window manager that renders all the Windows effects such as transparent windows, live thumbnails and even high resolution monitor support. Such a crash could indicate a problem with your device's hardware or even a malware infection. But don't lose hope, we have a few solutions that might fix your issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be restarting explorer.exe. You can start by pressing the Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape combination to start Task Manager. When Task Manager opens, go to the Details tab, locate explorer.exe, right-click it and choose End Task. Go to File and run a new task. Enter Explorer in the New Task box and click OK. In case the process takes up too much RAM, this step should cut resources and restore your device functionality. You can also fix this problem by logging out and logging back into Windows 10. Bear in mind that this is just a workaround and you might have to repeat it every time this issue occurs. You can also disable problematic services. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and type services. Then click the services option. Once the services window opens, you need to disable Skype Updater, then Google Update, the update version, and Google Update, the gupdatem service. To do that, simply find the service that you want to disable and double click it. When the properties window opens, change startup type to disabled and click apply and OK to save changes. You just have to repeat the same procedure for all the services that I just mentioned. Another useful solution could be deleting the mdi264.dll. You can do that by entering the advanced startup. You'll do this by restarting your computer while holding the shift key. Then, in the new window, choose Troubleshoot and then Advanced Options. Select Command Prompt from the list of options. When Command Prompt opens, you need to enter the following. cd c double dot slash users slash your name here, which is your username for this computer, slash app slash data slash local slash temp. Then del space mdi264.dll. After deleting the file, close command prompt and restart your PC. Another useful solution is running the SFC scan. Press the start button in the lower left corner and type in CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Then enter SFC slash scan now and press enter to run the system file checker scan which might take about half an hour or longer. Lastly, restart the desktop or laptop if the SFC scan does repair system files. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.